All right, so I'm currently in the headspace of what I used to would call depression. I don't process it as depression anymore. I have a different sort of awareness around what this means for me or what this is for me, right? Being in this cloudy, unfocused, unmotivated headspace doesn't mean depression for me anymore. Now, I'm not a doctor, but one thing I do know is my motherfucking self. So, I thought it'd be cool for me to document kind of like my thought patterns and my processes and the way that I manage when I'm feeling not my best, right, mentally, when I'm feeling quote-unquote depressed. Now, I guess, I guess it'll be insightful for me to share what I'm actually feeling. Like I said, I'm just feeling lack of motivation. I'm feeling, uh, you know, an increase of negative thoughts, moments of anxiety, moments of just a depressed state, right? I just feel not like myself. My levels of joy aren't as high. My levels of peace, however, are extremely high, which is always a good sign. Um, I have a lot to be celebrating, and I have to be a little bit more intentional about um, feeling gratitude right now, which is not normal for me. Gratitude is normally a very easy emotion for me to access, but from this headspace, is not. So this is me just explaining what this is like for me. Also, let me add, I'm craving sweets. I'm craving carbs. My eating has kind of been out of whack and I'm not feeling motivated to exercise. So I guess that's a good place to start. My strategy for, for the whole lack of motivation for exercise is accountability. I haven't had a good workout, a good workout in about four or five days. I didn't work out yesterday. It was the first day I, I skipped the gym. So I hit up my boy. I said, Willie, I need, I, I need to work out with you, bro. So that's, I guess that's the first jewel. Once you recognize that you're not pushing yourself or you're not feeling like yourself, get accountability involved, right? I think this is a very effective tip. But right now I'm on my way to get my hair cut. That usually makes me feel better. And I'm just going to continue to observe what I'm feeling. I'm going to observe what it inspires me to do. Right before I make, before I take any actions, like for instance, my mom, me and my mom kind of got into a little spat this morning. I, I will spare the details, but it's because I'm in this funky headspace and I'm super sensitive and I am not, I am not handling situations like the man that I am normally. So I had to catch myself and I had to call her back and I had to apologize. You feel what I'm saying? So it's just sharpening the awareness of how my decisions or how my behaviors are being influenced by this depressed state, all right? So, yeah, so throughout the day, I'll be sharing these thoughts, these insights with you guys, and hopefully it'll help you navigate your subpar headspace better. Willie is here in his phone as always, though. <laughs> Having a good Drake discussion. All right, so I got my hair cut. I'm feeling a lot better. Another thing that made me feel better is actually getting around people. So here's another tip. If you're feeling less than yourself, right? If you're feeling depressed, if you're feeling mentally not optimal, Get around people that you enjoy. Get around people that you love. Get around people that know you. And just have conversations. Share. I was able to share what I was going through mentally. And there's some things that came up in conversation that made me feel a lot better. So something crazy just happened. I think crazy is a... Nah, yeah. Something crazy just happened. Matter of fact, hold on. I'm gonna, let me get my life together real quick. Hold on. So I almost just got into a really bad accident. And it was exactly what I needed because it instantly activated my gratitude again it created this perspective shift on everything that was happening it was two important reminders for me to slow down 
the accident almost happened because I was impatient. I was in my feelings. I was moving too fast. And it was a good reminder to slow down and also a good reminder to just be appreciative, right? It really shifted my energy of in the moment in a way that I really, really needed it. So thank you universe for that. I receive your message. We're killing it. We want to make sure we understand why it's doing well too. So is that something that you feel like for if say hello sub vlog hey vlog that's all i just needed you guys to say hi to the vlog hi vlog <laughs> all right but before i go to the gym of course i need to prolific i do a nice dry scoop as you guys can see pe science is my supplement of choice and if you want 15 percent off i want you to click the link in the description use the discount code bricks at checkout and yeah, enjoy the best supplements on the planet. All right, let me take my ass to the gym now. So look guys, I'm not gonna front. On days like today when I'm not really feeling it, because I'm not the type of person when I'm depressed that I like to work out. Like I haven't gotten to that stage where exercise is, is my therapy. Like it's not, I mean it is, but it's not, right? Not on days like this. So on days like this, I didn't show you guys, but I took two scoops of pre-workout because I need that. I need that push right now. So I'm going to warm up on here for about 10 minutes. And then we'll probably do a full body circuit. Let's get it. Do some quick visualization. Picturing myself killing my workout right now. All right, let's get it. Workout complete. That shit smoked my boots. Those hit finishes, all I did was four rounds. I got my heart rate up into the 170s. Definitely an effective fat burning workout, but I'm so glad that it's over. So my workout is complete and I just noticed it is 4.15 and I didn't eat anything today. So I'm warming up some salmon, right? Right here, I can show you. Boom, some salmon. I'm just gonna throw it in one of these wraps. Get it. And that's what I'm gonna call breakfast. Late breakfast. So we're on our way to Little Willie's game. If you, if you guys don't know, Willie, his son is 15 years old and he's like one of the, in my opinion, he's one of the hottest prospects coming up in Virginia right now. He's playing JV. He's the running back, starting running back, starting middle linebacker, and he's a beast. And my boy has an amazing work ethic. Two. I feel like I'm buying weed. What's good, boy? Let's go, Willie. Let's go, Willie. Oh. Oh. 
Finally. Grab the first. Finally. Grab the first one. Yes, I know, he's been wide open for three games. <laughs> there we go, Willie. Let's go, Willie. There we go. Yes. Willie Moore on the carry. Yes, Let's go. Willie Moore on the touchdown! Willie Moore, right up the middle, right through the guard. Good stuff. I mean, how do you play it like that? So Willie Moore, how are you feeling about your performance today? I could have could have done better in the first half, but I made a play and we ended up scoring. And we took it. We took it home. You look good out there, brother. Keep keep it going, man. Keep working hard. The hard work is paying off. Thank you, Rick. Thank you. <laughs> All right, so I am back at the crib. I actually despite being in a funky ass mood today, and probably for the last, I don't know, the last few weeks at least, I've had a good ass day. I think honestly, today is gonna snap me out of this funk I've been in. If I were to reflect back on today and articulate why I think it ended up being a good day is a few things. I added some accountability. Willie wasn't able to work out with me today, but Having you guys with me today was an accountability to push myself, which allowed me to snap out of my exercise funk. I was surrounded by people that I care about, so that helped me. I got a haircut, and most importantly, I stayed off of social media today. There was no social media. That always helps me with my mental health. And more than anything, at this point in my journey, I've learned not to attach myself to any negative thoughts or negative feelings that I may experience. Like they're just like a dark cloud. And if you just watch them and not try to do anything about it, eventually the cloud just passes. And that is exactly what my strategy has been. I try to be intentional about focusing on the things that I have to be appreciative of. And that normally does a trick. So hopefully that was helpful guys. Remember the body that you want is owned by a higher version of yourself. So evolve. Peace.